Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial bite for Oxygen Not Included, where we're talking about germs and diseases. I'll talk you through what they are, how they affect dupes, and how to deal with them. To start off, there are five types of germ in the game, of which three are linked to diseases. Germs can be seen in the germs overlay, for which the hotkey is F9. The first of these is food poisoning, which are the yellow germs generated when dupes use outhouses or lavatories. Dupes can only become infected by food poisoning when eating or drinking things with germs on. When infected, dupes need to visit the bathroom twice as much and take slightly longer to do so. They also become tired more quickly and these effects will last for 1.7 cycles. Curative tablets can be made from the apothecary by a dupe with a tier 1 doctoring skill and will cure food poisoned dupes. The easiest way to avoid food poisoning in the first place is to correctly plan bathrooms. This means having one sink for each toilet as dupes will not queue for sinks and ensuring that dupes must pass the sink after using the toilet commonly done by making dead ends for bathrooms. Beware using the compost with the polluted dirt from outhouses, which can easily end up being used to fertilise food, thus infecting the plants. For plumbed bathrooms, you can use the runoff safely for thimble reeds. It is possible to pass toilet outputs through water sieves, but this will not remove the germs. However, this germy water is perfectly safe to reuse for toilet and sink inputs, as well as for generating oxygen with electrolyzers. Airborne food poisoning cannot infect dupes. Food poisoning can also be cleaned from water using a chlorine room, and although I believe this is generally unnecessary, I will explain these in another tutorial bite. Slime lung is the second disease, and is the green germs unsurprisingly found on natural slime. It can only affect dupes when the germs are released into the air and breathed in, and causes dupes to slowly lose breath which they must regain. They also intermittently cough, which releases a small amount of slime lung germs into the air. The symptoms will last for four cycles if untreated. Slime lung can be cured using medical packs, which must be administered in the sick bay in a hospital room. Both making and administering the packs will require the tier 2 doctoring skill. The mechanism that puts slime lung into the air is off-gassing, which is when small amounts of slime debris turn into polluted oxygen, taking the germs with them. Of course, the easiest way to avoid slime lung is to not to dig the slime in the first place. If you cannot pass around it, then risking slime lung is preferable to slowing the colony's development and expansion. Using outmost suits will also protect dupes in such areas, and I always recommend using these where you can. Another way to minimise off-gassing is to store the slime in liquids, as the pressure is usually enough to prevent this happening. If slime lung has already become airborne, then the best strategy is to use deodorisers to clean polluted oxygen into normal oxygen, in which the germs will quickly die. The last of the diseases is the purple coloured zombie spores, which are produced by spore kids found in the oil biomes. Rather anticlimactically, Dupes do not become zombies, but do lose 10 points of all attributes for 18 cycles if infected. Overall, it is extremely unlikely that dupes will ever get this defection, and suits are recommended in oil biomes anyway, due to the hot temperatures. This is fortunate as curing zombie spores requires the serum vial to be created and administered by a dupe with a tier 3 doctoring skill in a hospital room. Serum vials require sun nymph eggs, which are difficult to obtain, and you will only have to hand if you are already ranching shine bugs. Aside from the diseases, there are still two further types of germ, and the first of these is the pink coloured floral scents. These are given off by bristle blossoms and buddy buds, and actually decrease stress for dupes by 5% per cycle, unless they're allergic. In this case, they will get increased stress for 60 seconds and may sneeze. Allergy medication can be used to cure this or prevent this, but given the short duration of the debuff, this is generally unnecessary. The final germs to touch on are the radioactive contaminants, which are only available in the spaced out DLC. These are bright green and are only really generated in large numbers when launching or landing a rocket with a Radpole engine. They have no direct negative impact and cannot infect dupes, but do significantly increase local radiation levels. They also die off quite quickly though, and so are tricky to use as a sustainable source of radiation. With the germs covered, there are also a few environmental effects I wanted to cover that will negatively affect dupes. Sunburn occurs when dupes are working in bright areas, usually on the surface, in sunlight, for too long. It increases stress by 20% per cycle and is uncurable, taking dupes 1.5 cycles to recover. Note that suits do not protect against this. Heat stroke is when dupes are exposed to hot environments for too long, and whilst this comes with a small attribute penalty, the main risk is in dupes directly taking damage to their health, which can kill them. Conversely, hypothermia affects dupes who get too cold for too long. This also comes with small attribute penalties, but does not cause damage to dupes' health and so is more of an inconvenience than a serious risk. To protect against both of these, use suits in areas of extreme temperatures which will keep them safe. 
Finally, in the Spaced Out DLC, radiation sickness can affect juice to different levels depending on their total radiation absorption. There are four levels, and each comes with increasingly worse penalties. Absorbing over 100 rads causes dupes to tie quicker and slows their bathroom use speed. Over 300 rads, things get worse and dupes get an athletics penalty as well as start regular vomiting. This is highly inconvenient, but does help purge 20 rads for each vomit. And over 600 rads, the effects get worse still and the vomiting continues. When dupes reach over 900 rads, they will become incapacitated and as of the current patch, they cannot be saved at this point. This is because although they can be recovered to a triage cot, they will immediately fall off and thus shortly die. It's not clear whether this is intended or simply a game bug. Every cycle, dupes purge 100 rads when using the toilet and consuming a radiation pill from an apothecary grants dupes a further minus 100 rads per cycle. So that covers all of the possible germs, diseases and conditions in oxygen not included. I hope that you found this interesting and thanks for watching.